In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload files on Gumroad. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log into your Gumroad account and then head to the homepage. Now, from here, you can just go ahead and directly click on products on the left side of the screen where you can get started on uploading your files. Now, from this section, you can already create your own product or your new product and then categorize it to the type of product that it is. And from there, you're going to be able to upload what kind of file you'll be needing for that type of product. So for example, if we click on this new product button right here, we can see that we have these categories. So we have a digital product, any set of files to download or stream. We have a course or tutorial, sell a single lesson or teach a whole cohort of students ebook offer a book or comic in pdf epub and mobi formats and we have membership so you can start a membership business around your fans and then a physical good which uh, wherein you can sell anything that requires shipping something and then lastly we have a bundle so this allows you to sell two or more existing products for a new price so of course Upon seeing these categories, we can already tell that we can only upload files for our products for these three categories. So they're digital, course or tutorial, and ebook. Of course, we can't upload a file of our product if it's a membership because it's more of a contract between you and your subscribers. It's going to be something they pay for maybe every month or so. And then, of course, you can't upload a file for a physical good. What you can do is maybe take a photo or upload an image of that physical good so that your customers will be able to see what it looks like or maybe a video. And then, of course, for bundle, um, it's just basically grouping two or more existing products together for a new or discounted price. So in that case, we're going to be moving on with uh, digital products since when it comes to uploading files, we're mostly dealing with digital files. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this digital product example. So let's just say we're going to do a $20 placeholder for the price. Now we're going to go ahead and click on next customize so this will allow us to edit the details of our digital product so we're not going to go into uh, the entirety of uploading or adding the necessary details for a digital product so we're going to skip to where we can upload files so for from here we can see that in the description usually we can just type in whatever description we'd like but we also have the option to maybe insert a link upload an image right here maybe insert a button or insert a video if you have a video URL or also uh, insert a tweet from your X account something like that and we also have the option now uh, these options are available on all types of products so whenever you're listing a new product you can always upload an image or a video for the cover so just make sure that the images are horizontal and at least measure by around 1280 by 720 pixels and with around 72 dpi so to upload a cover you can just go ahead and click this pink button and you can choose between computer files or an external link. So there. Now the same goes with thumbnail, except for thumbnail usually uh, it's only for images. You can't upload a video in your thumbnail unless it's in the GIF format. So you can use JPG, PNG, or GIF format and just make sure that the image is in square format with at least 600 by 600 pixels. Now, if we click on save and continue and proceed to the content, this is where we usually upload the file 
that will be our main product. So for example, if the digital product we're selling is an image, we can upload the digital photo here. So for example, uh, I have this stock photo over here. So I go ahead and upload that. And as you can see, this will serve as the digital product that we're selling. Now, of course, this entirely depends on what type of product you're selling and the corresponding file that you need to upload for that product. So again, if it's a digital product, it can be an image, a video, and if it's an ebook, then maybe it can be a PDF or other ebook formats. Um, and basically, uh, you can also uh, insert maybe a PowerPoint template or a Photoshop preset, any of those digital files that is uh, relevant to the product or the type of product that you're selling. And that's about it. That's how you upload files on Gumroad. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.